This baseball player springs into action, his nervous system rapidly processing information in a network of nerve cells, or neurons. Each neuron receives input from one or more cells. In response, the neuron may generate an electrical signal known as an action potential that travels down the length of the axon. Let's take a closer look at the plasma membrane of an axon. Even without an action potential, the axon is a busy place with many ions moving across its membrane. Much of this ion movement is driven by the sodium-potassium pump. Using energy from ATP, sodium-potassium pumps actively transport sodium ions out of the cell and potassium ions in, creating an uneven distribution of charge across the membrane. Some potassium channels are open all the time, allowing potassium ions to leave the cell. As a result of these ion movements, the inside of the cell is negative relative to the outside. This condition is called the resting potential. The membrane of an axon is also packed with gated ion channels that open and close during an action potential. At resting potential, the gated channels are closed. If a stimulus changes the distribution of charge across the membrane sufficiently, the gated sodium channels open. Movement of sodium ions across the membrane makes the inside of the cell more positive. This reversal of the charge distribution causes the gated sodium channels to close and the gated potassium channels to open. As potassium ions move out of the cell, the original charge difference is re-established across the membrane, closing the gated potassium channels. This sequence of events is called an action potential. The sodium-potassium pump restores the distribution of ions back to their previous levels at resting potential. Let's look at how the action potential is conducted along the axon. As the change in charge difference across the membrane spreads from open sodium channels, other sodium channels farther along the axon begin to open. The original sodium channels close and adjacent potassium channels open. As potassium ions move out of the cell, the original charge difference across the membrane is restored and then the potassium channels close. Meanwhile, new sodium channels open followed by the opening of new potassium channels and the closing of sodium channels. In this manner, the action potential is propagated along the axon of the neuron, eventually reaching another cell. The information carried by this action potential will be processed with other information, permitting this baseball player to make a spectacular catch.